Hi everyone, this is Alayar Games, and today I'm watching episode 18 of Demon Slayer. Last episode, we uh, met the father demon, and uh, either they're going to defeat him here, or something's going to happen where uh, the fight is kind of put off till they get back to the blonde guy and uh, save him from the poison. Because they have to get back to him pretty quickly and do something. I don't really know what they're going to do, but... Uh, he needs help, <laughs> because the, the poison has not disappeared. So, he's going to die pretty soon if something isn't done. Uh, but yeah, let's just get started and see what happens here. So these are the ones that uh, that were sent by the guy who owns those doll things. So it seems they're going to get help this time. Maybe those are going to take out some of the other ones while they fight this, or maybe they'll arrive just in time and distract the father one while uh, they go help the blonde. Oh yeah, and I forgot, last time we couldn't see if you, he had chopped the arm off, but it seems to me like he's not going to be able to to get past the arm. A forged bond, but between who? Yep, didn't cut through all the way. Did cut more than it seemed like it was going to, though. I'm not really very swayed by his don't come near my family thing when he himself kind of treated his family horribly. He was a threat against his own family, so his kind of declaration of protection for them is kind of, it kind of rings hollow. You know, demon slayers in this world could very easily be great lumberjacks. That water looks fantastic, by the way. <laughs> that looks really good. Can you drown a demon? Something's probably going to happen to uh, stop that. Yeah, that's what I thought.
<laughs> Kentaro. <laughs> Even I know that's not his name. All right, so they got separated. Bora v. Spider, I guess. It'd be pretty fortuitous if uh, the main character landed right here. <laughs> Those spider webs are very sturdy. And those things are still alive. Really? So either the main character or one of the ones that uh, split from him, I mean that split early on there, are going to save him. And it seems it's the second thing. Yeah. She probably has better judgment when it comes to poison than the main character does, to be honest. Because I don't think the main character has that kind of knowledge. What is he slashing? Oh, just to land? Another survivor? No, oh, one of the demons. That's the one that ran away, I think. Seems like a pretty dysfunctional one, if you ask me. If you if you have a truly powerful bond, you put your sister on your back. That's uh, that's how you do it. I wonder if this is going to become a... Oh. Um, he has a standard uniform, so he's dead. <laughs> and then these things he's saying reek of uh, death flag. He's basically here to be made an example out of. Yep, there we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
I, uh, I don't know if I said this before, but I, I wonder if this is going to turn into a brother, sister, V brother and sister. Because I think it's nighttime, so Nezuko should be able to get out of there right now. You know, this father demon kind of reminds me of what they fought uh, early on without a head. So I'm thinking that maybe, you know, the, the main body... It's just the head. I think that might be like a... Like his gimmick. That no matter what you do to his body, he could just like... Get another one or something. There is the <laughs> the one we know. <laughs> Good thing is staying still while you're doing that. I would have thought that those swords would have been chipped and destroyed quite a long time ago. Oh, he's been slashed a couple of times already. By the way, that, that, the way that other guy, the, uh, kind of example guy was, uh, cut up reminded me of Resident Evil, the, the, the movie, the first one with the lasers. I'm kind of wondering if that scared one might be one that isn't killed in the end, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Because she doesn't seem to have done anything. He's doing that again, the, the tough technique. What's it doing? It seems like it's scared, but I don't know if that's the case.
Yeah, see, that's what it seems like, but I don't think that's the case. Oh. I guess it just shed. <laughs> well, there goes my theory. This is the first time he's uh, thought anything like this before. I guess even he has some sort of uh, sense of self-preservation. It seems the things he's been through these past couple of weeks have really impacted him more than any of uh, any other points in his life, I think. Oh, that was... that looked really painful. Well then. I guess what I said about the swords came true sooner than, than I thought it would. At least that part is uh, a little more malleable. So is the other guy going to come? The, the one that split off from the lady? And that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. So is that, uh, Tonji Tojiro, or... Yep, it's that guy. I'm pretty sure this is the, the guy that fought with uh, the main character in the beginning. Also, that technique. Uh, it seems familiar, doesn't it? So now that the threat of father is gone, how are these two going to react? Oh. 
Oh. Oh, really? You're going to end it there? Come on, man. God, why? That's not very nice. What the heck? I have been predicting a lot of things, but at the same time, with these types of shows, it's not really how predictable it is, because there usually are. It's just how... You know, it's the journey you're you're taking to whatever predictable uh, outcome there is. It's, it's the journey itself. So, all of this, just the fights and the combat and the interactions and all that, it's 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 what makes it. Not really where it's going because everybody knows where it's going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, another pretty great episode. It's just that cliffhanger was a bit too mean. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.